Greetings, everyone. Uh, we know that uh, there are some who are applying for waivers but are not on Zimbabwe exemption permits. Uh, these people are already in South Africa and they are people of low skin. We said in previous videos that uh, if you have low skin, you cannot apply for a waiver. But of course, if uh, your skill is uh, you are a professional, even though it is not under critical skins, it is then that you can apply for a waiver. But if, say, you work at ShopRite, at ShopRite as a packer, you cannot apply for a waiver like what the holders of Zimbabwe exemption permits are doing. Uh, or if you are working as a domestic worker, you cannot apply for a waiver if you are not a holder of ZEP. So these waivers are for holders of Zimbabwe exemption permits. <clears throat> we notice that some of you are going through lawyers to be assisted to apply. It does not mean that if you go through lawyers, you are going to succeed because uh, the, the requirements are very simple and straightforward. So you need to be someone who will prove that uh, there is no South African that is available to take up the, um, the job that you have been offered. And uh, this should be supported by your company. We did mention that uh, there must be advert, job advert in national newspapers, record of interviews, to show that even though you are not under critical skills, but uh, the company is advertised <coughs> and, uh, and there is no South African who is willing uh, to take up that offer. It is then that you apply for a wave. But uh, if you work as a text driver or any other low skill job, you cannot apply for a waiver if you are, uh, if you are not on the Zimbabwe exemption permit. Then, then there are those that are starting in South Africa. Uh, one not uh, on study permits or study visa. They are studying in South Africa. Then later on, they want to apply for a study visa. Some they submit it through the embassy in Harare. Some they submit it through VFS in South Africa. Again, that becomes problematic. Uh, uh, so someone went through the lawyers. Uh, I, I will not mention the name of the attorneys that assisted the person or uh, i have no man to defend myself <laughs> in court but but uh, this person applied for a study visa then uh, the decision came out negative he uh, was applying for a study visa and uh, the, <clears throat> the letter in part says uh, you are in terms of the provisions of section uh, 8.3 of the act Hereby notified of your decision as follows, your application is denied. Uh, the reasons for the decision is as follows. Uh, you started in South Africa illegally from 2016 to 2020. Close quote. So, so the person you said you have started in South Africa illegally uh, uh, without a permit. So from 2016 to 2020, we are starting in South Africa. Then later on, then applying through the lawyers, uh, went to submit at the South African Embassy in Arar, apply, applying for a study visa. And uh, that application was declined on the basis that uh, the person was uh, starting illegally. So if you are working with no permit or without a permit, you later on apply uh, and they provide proof that you are working. Chances are the decision would be that you you have been working in South Africa illegal, right? Because if you apply for a waiver <coughs> and you are not on ZEP, you you are you have been offered a job. Then you apply for a work visa. Or first apply for a waiver, like, like I've indicated how you should apply for a waiver. But but you can't say I've been working in South Africa for five years without a work visa. Now I'm applying for a visa and then you provide the proof of employment. Then, then the issue would be how did the company 
employ you when you did not have documents. So we need to be very careful on, on, on these issues. Even if you go through lawyers, uh, you are going to face these challenges. Uh, uh, you might uh, maybe go through this experience. Please share your own experiences in the comment section. I am Mabuto Nicholas Mapena. Please like this video, circulate. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you are on TikTok, please do follow us. Otherwise, have a great day. Uh, I forgot that we, we, we are making a follow-up. It's Friday today. We are making a follow-up uh, for those that uh, submitted to us their details that you have been sending to home affairs to check how far they have gone with the process of assisting those that applied in uh, 2021, 2022 and uh, 2023 up to 30th of april 2023 so these are the people that are currently assisting so we said we check every monday and friday so we'll be checking during the course of the day on how far they've gone then we're going to notify you but if you you fall within that category and you have not submitted to us please write, uh, send to 083 340 your name reference number date of submission otherwise goodbye